Hello my YouTube viewers out there, it's me Sam again, once again with another video. So I always start like that, so that's pretty good. So today, we got another unboxing video for you today. We're going to be unboxing a battery replacement kit for the Game Boy Advance. So if you have a Game Boy Advance, and uh, if it's pretty much seen its days where the battery just won't charge anymore, there are plenty of replacement kits out there that you can get. So, uh, it's my dog over there making noise with her little bell. Uh, so, hang on. Let's take that collar off, off the dog real quick here. All right, here we go, folks. I guess she's right here. This is Snowy, for anybody who hasn't seen my little doggy. It's right there. Hey, Dougie. She's right there. Little Chihuahua. But she, so she won't be making all that noise with the bell. So, yeah, as I was saying, uh, so that's what we're gonna we're gonna take a look at today, and we're gonna take a look at a battery replacement kit. There are plenty of them on Amazon, and I will provide a link to this one. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So, this is a battery replacement kit for my Game Boy Advance, which you can see right here off in the corner. Uh, nice little retro system, so if any of y'all have these, it's, it's a good nostalgic thing to have. I have some games. I ordered Pokemon Ruby. Uh, it, is a it, it is a reproduction cartridge, so it's not authentic, but uh, I, don't, I don't always collect things for authenticity or value sometimes, especially with video games. I just want to play. That's all I want to do. I want to play on original hardware, and I don't really like using emulators too much. Emulators are great, but eh, sometimes they don't always work the way they're supposed to, and you got to do a lot of tweaking. So I got a GBA right here, GBA SP, so why not play GBA on a system that it was meant to be played on? So the only one problem is my battery has seen its days. Very old battery. Of course, it's, this is a very over a 20 year old battery. So, this is the original battery right here. As you can see, it has bulged. So, and it won't hold a charge anymore. And usually, when it bulges like this, if you have any game system or anything for the matter, and the battery starts to swell up like this, it usually means that it's the end of its cycle and it's probably getting ready to burst and leak. And you don't want that because you don't want that corrosive acid all over your, your electronics. So you got to replace it. So we got a replacement kit right here. So let's open it up and take a look. Uh, this is a very pretty nice replacement kit here. And what they give us here is this is pretty unique because they give us a USB to the proprietary connector for the Game Boy Advance. Also for the, I think this is also for the Nintendo DS, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this allows you to use uh, any 5 volt cell phone charger that you can charge the Game Boy Advance with also or you can just plug it into any USB on your PC or if you have a power strip with USB you can charge it that way also so they give you this universal cable they give you this updated cable to to uh, do just that and they give us this cable here which is another cable with a tip I'm wondering if you can if it's universal for you to use other 5 volt adapters that have the uh, that have the little jack that almost looks like a headphone jack. So I'm assuming that I'm assuming that that's what this is for because it plugs into the same charging port. I'll have to find out more about that. Uh, I don't think it's a headphone jack by far, but there's no specific instructions here that tells you what's what. But uh, or maybe you guys can research this and see what this is for. If you know what this is for, uh, put it in the comments. Share it in the comments. We have the rechargeable battery kit right here. Now this is the actual lithium ion battery that's gonna be replacing this one. And I do believe they are the exact same size. Uh, it looks like they are. Cause there are some batteries out there that don't quite fit into the, you know, they're a little smaller and you gotta put a spacer in, you know, all that stuff. I don't think I'm gonna have to do that with this one. Hopefully not. Uh, no, they look like they're about the same size. So we get the little screwdriver kit also. So if you don't have one of those uh, 
iFixit kits or those uh, uh, screwdriver sets, whether if it's an iFixit kit or anything identical. With the small bits, they include the little screwdriver, which basically is just a standard Phillips, and I think they might have instructions, I'm not too sure. You've got some little, some literature there. If you guys want to read that, you can pause the video. All right, so they give us that. And also with this kit also comes a, uh, an, a wall charger, an original charger for the Game Boy Advance. So this is what they give us here. I'm going to read this off screen real quick. So they give us a an original adapter. So this is actually the output. DC, it's 5.2 volts, 320 milliamps. Uh, class 2 power supply for use with GBA SP only. So this is the actual, uh, it's not the original, but it is, it's not the original one by Nintendo. It's an aftermarket, but it is, it is the, uh, it is the, the dedicated charger for the GBA. If you want to do that, it's 5.2 volts. So like I said, you can use this or... You can use this universal cable, like I said, with any 5.2 volt uh, cell phone charger or even your PC. So, I mean, you get this. It, it, it all comes in the kit, so uh, that's what we're going to do. So, folks, uh, got to go real quick here. All right, folks, yeah. A little bit of silence there. Sorry if you can hear my air conditioner in the background. But it's hot, so I'm not going to turn it off. South Texas heat is bad. <laughs> I went to grab some scissors, so we're going to open this up real quick here on camera. Concerning if I don't slice my finger off. Uh, we're going to open up this blister pack right here. It's uh, right in here, just like that. We're going to cut this open. I don't think we need to get it all open, right? So, right in here, this is real quick. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to replace this thing. No, we don't have any other instructions other than what's here in the back. That's about it. So, this is the battery. It's a lithium ion. We'll just take a look at it real quick. So, we got the battery right there. And we have... I like this kit also. And there are other kits that... There are other kits that uh, have the battery but don't have this so it's just all up to you on what you want to get they give you the tiny little screwdriver which like i say it's just your typical standard phillips uh so to get into the because one thing about uh nintendo that was really neat and i give them high props for that is the fact that on the game boy advanced and the nintendo ds uh they made the uh battery user replaceable uh, unlike the Nintendo switch hold on guys let me just see if I can make an adjustment real quick here I'm not too sure there we go I'm not sure if the if the air from the if there was a, if you guys were getting wind noise from the air conditioner so I just pushed the vent up so anyway back to this is on the Nintendo DS and the Game Boy Advance, uh, I, and I think the other Game Boy uh, also, I'm not too sure, they made the batteries user replaceable. Unlike the Switch, which is not user replaceable, this one is. So they put a standard Phillips screwdriver there. So, so unfortunately, I'm going to get my magnifier, if I can find it where it's at, and see if I can get it straight into the hole. Uh, let's see if I can do this on camera real quick. I don't want to be taking stuff out of camera for so much. Let's see if I can do that. I'll feel for it because I can't really see from here. Uh, let's just remember I am visually impaired. So, so if we can get this open, I hope it's turning it. Is it turning it? Yes, it is. It's not on there very tight. And we just pull it up right here. The cover comes off. It's captured screw, so uh, you don't have to worry about losing it, thank God. I should really invest in one of those little uh, 
mats, those little tray things that, that people use to those iFixit trays. Uh, that'd be a good idea. So, like I said, this is the old battery. Let me go here, right? So this is the old battery right here, and this is the new battery. The terminals line up perfectly, so that is great. Uh, they are the exact same size, but as you can see, you can see how it the old battery rocks. So it, this is bulged. So looks like I'm not gonna have any trouble with this rocking around or moving around in there. So it's very simple. You open up the, the cap right here, and your positive terminals. Your terminals are right here, and there are the terminal contacts right there. You slide it in, and it would be just like a typical cell phone battery or anything else that you put in. And I don't know if it feels a little loose. If not, I can probably put a little bit piece of paper in there if, I, if I'm going to need to do that. So we'll put it in. And then it's, that's how easy it is to replace. And I just kind of, let me get my magnifier here so I can see a little bit there. And you put the screw back in. And I don't think this is going to be charged. I don't think it's going to have any power in it. But we'll just fire it up and see if it does, if we're lucky. And I don't think we're going to have any power. Nope, it is dead. Okay, dead, or hopefully I did not get a defective battery. Uh, so we'll have to plug this in and see. Uh, so if you'll hang on with a minute, let me go plug in an extension cord and see if I can get this thing going and plug it in and see what happens right here we'll use the charger that it came with so like I said this video might get a little lengthy but it's okay we're at about 11 minutes so if you get too bored you can just turn away and turn it off uh, that would be your choice if you've seen enough well you can turn it off so let me see if I can get that this extension cord plugged in real quick uh, So we're gonna get this extension cord plugged in. Let's see if this if this power power brick will reach over here. Real quick, I'm hoping that it does. Okay, so the power brick. Well, obviously, okay, hold on. We're gonna to have to make some camera adjustments here. So, uh, actually, what I want to do. I want to see, but the extension cord is not long enough, so we'll run into some trouble here. I'm going to plug it in right here off camera real quick. Let's see if it goes on. I did a bulk in my hand. Obviously, okay, we're going in the wrong way. So, I don't see any power light going on charges. I actually wanted to see if it would charge up. Uh, so what happened is the, ch the charging light just blinked and then went right back off. So, hopefully that's not a bad sign. But I wanted to, I wanted to see if it would charge up on camera. I was hoping that it would. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this thing and probably just come back with another video. Let y'all know if it actually charged up or not. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this is the whole kit that you get. So if you guys want to get one for yourselves, uh, you get a battery, you get two cables and you get the screwdriver and you even get an AC adapter uh, as well. And it is a replacement for your Nintendo, your Game Boy Advanced. All right, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and just stop the video here. So you all take care, have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next one.